Alright, so I have to film this on, like, my phone instead of the nice, but anyway, I'm doing, like, K-pop albums that I had wanted for a very long time and they just took me a while to buy, basically, so you'll kind of get it once I go on. But anyway, I'm gonna start off Shinwa. I, this, I bought this around last year in October. Obviously, this is one of their new releases, Dusty. And, um... Basically, I wanted Classic and The Return also, but I just have not bought them yet. I don't know why I need to buy them, but it's like, you know, it's like, kind of put it up. They're not priority. But I do love Shinwa, so I would like to buy those. One that took me, I bought this, I'd wanted this ever since I basically got into K-pop. It's such a great album. Um, I found it, but unfortunately it got like out of print. But I found it was able to find it from a seller used for a very, very, very cheap price. It's not in the greatest condition, but I have it and really, yeah, I mean, it's kind of ripped, but you know, I still have it. So my first K-pop album ever was the regular version of this, which is also now out of print. But this one, <clears throat> I was going to buy it and then it, at first I was like, oh, I want the other version. I was going to buy this and then it was out of print, so I was really, really upset. And I just never bought this. This one I actually bought, like, I got this year a couple weeks ago, I think. Because I found it. I was just like, oh, yeah, I forgot one end of that. So I bought it used from Japan for like, around 7 or $8. When I just, that's just an unbelievable price for this. Especially how much I wanted it and how much memories this brings back. Um, another one is A-Pink. So these ones, I basically, you know, I loved my mind when it came out. I just never bought the an A-Pink album until 2014. And then I was like, these ones don't come with photo cards, so I was like very picky. And like even before that, I was like, eh, man, I'm not gonna buy this. I was like, even though I do like them, it's like, eh, not not a super super love. Then 2014, I was like, I'm gonna get some. And then I didn't get these ones until maybe like beginning of 2015. I did, I got these, and I'm really glad I do have them because they also went like out of print. They went up what I print throughout the years as well, when I maybe was going to look to buy a couple of them. But yeah, I do have them now. Another one is The Boy. I Got a Boy. So when the this first came out, I pre-ordered just a random version. I got the member version, which at the time I was really happy. Now I wish I would have gotten, like, a, a member. I was able to luckily find this through a friend. It's, pre it's a little bit beat up and damaged, but I got it for a fairly cheap price, and it's, it's a lovely... I'm so glad to actually finally have a member version of I Got a Boy. <laughs> then I have After School's Virgin. This one I bought in Japan in 2015. This one I had wanted ever since it came out as well. This is just, I was so happy to find this. This was like my, one of my highlights was finding this used. Be able, it was used too, obviously this is out of print. I really, really also still want orange caramel lipstick. I just don't have it yet. I just want it. But it's like I never have gotten around to getting it. It's also out of print and like hard to find, so... I just remember just wanting this for the longest time. I finally got it, and I'm so happy. Um, next, we'll just kind of do, like, we'll do, obviously, like, the box version of SNSD. I have their first box. I'm just going to show all three boxes and talk about them together. Their third box, and then their first, second box, I mean. And then I'll put these ones away, because they're over here. Anyway, um, I'd wanted, obviously I was a Sochi fan and I wanted all these albums obviously when they came out. It's just that they were all about a hundred dollars. <laughs> I didn't buy them until last year and I found them all used because I had bought the normal versions like at the time they came out and released but it's just like I couldn't afford to pay, I didn't want to pay and I couldn't afford to pay a hundred dollars for these. So I bought them all second hand for around half the price that maybe all the stuff came out from Japan. Um, so I finally did get those because it's just like, I was like, I have to have these. I was like, I've wanted these forever and I'm so happy I do have them now. For And I did pay a cheaper price and I'm very, very happy with that. This one was more pricey though. This one was very pricey because it's a newer one, but I'm very happy that I have those. Next we'll do a couple um, TR's jewelry box. I did want, it wasn't super wanting, but like I maybe was like, yeah, then that would be nice to get. So I just picked that one. And then we're going to get to do a couple more TR ones. Again, and then 
again 1777 and just again. When this came out, I wanted it. I wanted it so badly, but I just never bought it. I don't know why I didn't buy it at the time it came out. Luckily, I did buy this. I bought this from a U.S. seller, but it was new, so that's nice. So I got it fairly quickly when I was just like, I need it. And it's just, oh, it's so perfect. I love it so much. And same with this one is the repackage. It's just because, like, I was like, oh, maybe I should just get the repackage of this. I love the repackage songs. And I was like, no, but I like, no, I like again more. And then I finally did buy them last year, and I'm so happy I bought both of them. Because I had wanted them since they came out. Cutie. Red Hair, I loved this comeback. This is one of my favorite Tiara songs. I loved it so much. Next, we'll do another Tiara. Got Treasure Box. I got Un Jung's Keychain. I just wanted this ever since it came out. I just, like, there was a couple, a lot of times I almost bought this, like, five or six times. I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy this now. I'm like, nah, I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna buy it. I'm like, I don't have any other Tiara, then I have to buy their other stuff. So I just didn't end up, ended up buying it. I bought it, like, last year. Last year, I bought most of my Tiara stuff. I decided just to go in and get tiara and that happened and then I'm so happy I have this I love it oh I love it so much there's kitty right there it's just amazing I just love it and then we'll have the album I guess I would consider this the album I had always wanted for for years and years and years and years and years I just I bought it. I've almost bought it so many many times and I was just like screw it I'm finally getting this and it is Tiara's breaking heart again. I wanted this for so long. Like, Tiara was one of the first girl groups. This album, I heard this. All of their songs when I first got it back into K got into K-pop. And I don't know why. It went out of print for a while, so it was hard to buy. And every time, I just almost bought it every time. But then I was just like, oh, nah, I don't really like Tiara that much. But now I love Tiara, though. Like, I don't know. Recently, I've always loved Cutie. She was my she became my bias basically in 2013 around bunny time bunny style era but I just remember just always wanting this forever and ever and ever and I finally have it like I finally bought it last year and I was just like it's mine now it's my album I love it so much it's such a good album if you have not heard this album go listen to it, it is one of the best K-pop albums ever this one and also I would say Virgin and me erotic. Oh, and again, this, uh, I mean, black style. This one is amazing. And this one. All of these are some of the best albums. I mean, even SNSD's Japanese ones as well. I mean, can't really complain about those. And even, like, I would say, like, Treasure Box. These are some of the best albums you can listen to. They're just solid. Like, it's rare that I like, like, a full album, like, every single song off of it. And most of these, I like every single song off of it. And they just burn. Like, they're solid. They're so solid. Just go listen. I would go listen to all of these. If you haven't, you'll be amazed. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Bye.